Good morning. Welcome to me not having my camera right. <laughs> anyway, this is me, Melissa. This is Color All the Things. And this is an unboxing ish happy mail thing. Mostly, I was looking on Amazon for a uh, footrest and Amazon was so kind to be like, you know what you need? You need some castle art pencils. I was like, you know what, Amazon? I do. I do need that. And so I bought them. And they came yesterday, but yesterday was busy. I had a Girl Scout thing. And then this morning, my husband's off to get his teeth done. And then it's my turn. And then it's my girl's turn. <laughs> so... But here we are. Comes in this lovely tin. Lovely, lovely. Nice. They smell. I'm going to say that right off the bat. That was the very first thing I noticed is they smell. They smell like paint. Uh, so either it's the matte black or it's the color stuff down here. Why? I don't want to autofocus. Stop autofocusing. I like it just one way. Thank you. Um... There's, I want to show one of the first things I noticed was, I don't know if you can see that, but you see those like little black dots or whatever, it's like bubbling. That was just a manufacturer error. Um, so these are all in numerical order. They literally go from 1 to 120. Oh, the brightness and stuff is killing me. There we go. Let's turn off auto white balance. There we go. We're just going to leave it like that. Sorry, resetting up all my camera stuff. So it literally goes from 1 to 120. So there are no color names, which is something I'm not a fan of. Um, but I will deal with it. Um, I have a case here that was my old Koenor. I really don't like my Koenors, so I pulled them all out. I do have, I'm pretty sure this case is 150, so I do have my uh, Studler Ergosofts in here, which I still love. Um, so I'm going to see if I can keep these in here. I will swatch for you guys. I may speed up the swatching if I can figure out how to speed stuff up. Um, if not, you will just be watching my swatch. Um, hope you don't mind. Um, I'm not going to put those in the case just yet. I will do that after I have swatched everything. So I'm going to put those up here. Pull this down. I'm going to zoom. Can I zoom? Let me zoom. Zoom. Boom. All right. I'll start with a uh, pretty old number one. Uh, so the barrel is nice. It's a decent size I want to say it feels pretty similar just a hair thicker I don't know if you can tell it's thicker than the Prismacolor barrels let's see do I have I do not have a polychromos out let me see here see here polychromos it feels about the same size as polychromos um, so nice feel uh, not the thickest lead you can see so it's smaller than the polychromos lead um, is it smaller than the prismacolor lead not really it's roughly the same size as the prismacolor lead which is nice um, I'm going to try to do this without sharpening. You can see there's like black stuff on the tip. Um, but we'll see how this goes. So this is number one. And I like going hard pressure and then down to, to light pressure. So this is a creamy yellow. Let's 
they lay down really nice. They, they are, they feel like wax. I mean, there's no getting away from it. It does say soft series on it. On every pencil, it has the same thing. Soft series, Castle Art Supplies, a matte black barrel. And um, I'm going to see if the ends really match the lead. Um, so this is number two. And I have to say that the... The ends aren't doing too bad on matching. I mean, that's it's fairly close right there. So, yay for that. Um, I like my barrels to match the color. So this is number three. They feel nice. They feel creamy. They're going on pretty smooth. Number four. I can go down to a pretty light. And again, the barrel's matching fairly well, or the end is matching fairly well. Um, it doesn't look like there's much difference between these two. But in person, this is more of an ochre color. This is more of a yellowy color. So, I guess this is more of a fleshy color. Number five. I'm not having to press super duper hard to get that, that solid bit of pigment at the end. which is a super duper plus. They seem to have, from what I looked, a, a nice range of colors. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of playing with the, these when I got them. I really wanted to save it for the, the video, so. I still on camera. I will say some of them feel a little harder than others. Like this one feels like a very, feels a, like a harder pencil than the one before it. Uh, so there may be some variation on that with the different pigments. Like this one's really soft. Whereas the one before it was really hard. That's a nice, uh, Fleshy color right there. Not the one I'm doing, the one before it. Number eight. Ten. Nice kind of ochre. I like that I can fade out to almost nothing. I like doing my layers. I think everybody knows that by now. These two almost look the same. So 10 and 11 are not very much different. 11 has a little bit more red tint to it, I think. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure why we have the browns with the yellows, but... These were uh, fairly cheap. They were $40 for 120 uh, Link is down below if you're curious. This is my Arteza um, little sketchbook. It's 5.5 uh, by 8.5 inches. 68 pound paper it's okay it's not great for wet mediums um, but for pencils it does I mean for a swatch book it does its job oops I'm not meaning to throw pencils around I really don't
Not sure how these blend. I'll try that later. Uh, give that a go. Maybe do a yellow and blue make green blend. I know I had watched a few uh, swatch videos for these before I clicked the buy button. I mean, I'm impulsive, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but not quite that impulsive. Um, funny side note though, when these arrived, I have Alexa, so she's connected up with my Amazon account and she notifies me when I have uh, packages arriving. And she actually said, uh, your Faber Castell, and I'm just like, uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't order any, any Faber Castell. So I opened the package, thinking, oh god, did somebody mess up? Oh, look at these colors; these are so pretty. It's like, oh my god, did somebody mess up? Nope, that she just had it all wrong, just all wrong. pretty colors. Nice peaches and pinks. I don't know why they're in between the reds. Orangey reds. So their color order is a little weird to me. I wanted to reorder it but then I was like they're numbered literally 1 to 120. If I reorder it I will never put them back in the right way. <laughs> like they'll never go back in the right order. So I decided to go ahead and keep it, swatch it, just leave it how they have it. I'll figure it out. I do have a couple pinks. I, I really find myself searching for some good purples and I'm hoping this delivers on some really good purples. Um, these kind of feel, you know they're wax, like you can feel that they're wax. I must say they kind of feel like the Black Widows. Black Widows were very sticky to me though, and these aren't sticky. Our Tezos are pretty sticky too. Um, but these aren't sticky. They're smooth and soft, but they're not as soft as Prismas. They're not as hard as Polychromos. They're about the same hardness, I'm going to say, as Arteza's. Um, make sure I got the right color going. There is some color dust that you get with Prismas. into some pinks and purples here. I find I lack a lot of bluey purples. Like you get these these pinky purples. But I really like the the blue purples. And hopefully I'll be able to show you guys this on some different paper. I'm trying to, I'm trying to speed a, a little through this. I may cut out the talking and just speed up this. We'll see. I'm not good at editing video like that. I never did. Learn any of that like I wanted to. Ain't nobody got time. So pinks and purples tend to be 
lacking. Uh, the pinks are pretty average. You can count these into the pinks. They're they're average. It's the these bluey purples here that we're getting into that I'm I'm really excited for. From what I can tell, there might be quite a few of them. I don't know if it's just uh, companies don't really come up with a lot of bluey purples. I don't know why they're so pretty. I know uh, the only set that satisfies me on the amount of blue purples, oh, this is pretty, is Holbein. They have a very nice amount of blue purples. Well, this is a nice one, nice and dark. Kind of like a uh, Prisma's black grape, right? Black grape, I think it's black grape. This is a nice blue, almost like a Delft blue, kind of hints at purple. So that's tray one done. Let's move on to tray two where we hit the blues. I will say uh, these are lacking in blues, oddly enough. Unless they put them on the bottom tray. Like I said, they, they do some weird order with their colors. Like I'll hit the blues, greens, browns, and grays, and then I head into like skin tones. Maybe this is like an indigo. I really wish they had names on them. Because I'm not really good at knowing what's a Prussian blue, what's a thalo blue, what's a... This looks like Prussian. What's an indigo? Because every, every company has a different indigo, I've noticed. Um, and not all indigos are made the same. <laughs> like, some of them are really, really light. Like, uh... Koinor's indigo is super light. But then you have Prisma Colors indigo, which is really dark and it's very confusing. Oh, maybe this is indigo. That does not match. Not in real life. It does on the camera, but maybe this is indigo. Yeah, this looks like indigo. That's a nice dark indigo. I like that. Maybe this is a phthalo blue. Go into some turquoises here. Some bright blues. It seems to cover fairly well. You can tell you're not seeing a whole lot of white which is nice usually blues and reds I tend to see a lot of white if it doesn't cover very well maybe it's Lyra's indigo that's really not that dark well this is a pretty color Nice, like, sea blue-green. Getting into the greens now. It's like a hooker's green. Anybody who's sitting here just watching me swatch these, bless your heart. I missed you guys. Uh, streaming the other day was super fun. I'm going to have to do it again this week. I already told my husband, ooh, I like this. It's like a pine green. I already told my husband, I was like, look, I'm going to have to do that again. I've missed it. God love him, though. He encourages it. So, I don't have to feel bad that I'm 
ignoring him. Poor little Zoe's sick today. She's got a stuffy nose. So I need to call the dentist or ask when I go in when her appointment is and maybe even reschedule it. I hate taking them to like a dentist or something or a hair stylist or whatever when they're sick. Because you know they're going to get somebody else sick and I, I just don't like that. It's one thing to go to a doctor's office. That's expected. It's another thing to drag them around to the store and drag them to the dentist when they're sick. You can always reschedule. I had to go out last night and get her. She said, I need my nose medicine, mommy. Oh, I love this green. I love olive -y greens. Like these greens, I can leave, take them or leave them. These greens and these olive -y, like apple greens or whatever they are, I love them. Anything with an olive tint, you can keep your bright greens. Like this green's not my favorite. You can keep your yellow greens. I will take an olive green any day of the week. Oh, but the chartreuse is nice. Oh, yes, give me my olives. Give me my olive greens. No, I'm not crazy, guys. I don't know why you would think that. Oh, this is an interesting barrel color, and I'm very curious. Looks like a gray green. Let's see. Oh, it is. It's like a green gray. Oh, I like that. That would be really great for shading. You know how you don't want to use a true black for shading? It's a gray green. I'm so happy about that. That's one of those colors in Derwent that I really love. Oh, where was I? Here we are. Now we're getting into some grays here. Nice dark gray. I can barely tell the difference between those two. I think one's more brown and one's more silver. This looks like it might be like a French gray here. Or a pewter. I don't know. Brown or two. Nice dark browns. That's another thing I find lacking sometimes is a good dark brown. That was a gray dark brown. This is a a yellowy. This one might be a reddish. Look at that. Black in the middle of the colors because reasons. I don't get it. I don't get their color order. White, which isn't going to show up as anything, but I do it anyways. Now we're getting into like peachy skin colors. Ooh, that is, that is super peach. This is like a John, John Brilliant. Very light flesh color. Very light. I don't know. You can barely see that. Nice ochre. Yellow. Why is the yellow down here and not with the other yellows? This one is one I sharpened. I was testing it out. It's kind of like one of the green golds. Some of the browns coming up. These are all skin tones, I think. Yeah. 
which I guess that kind of makes sense to keep them all stacked together. But, um, yeah, I'm good at finding my own skin tones, thanks. I don't need you to put them all together. This is why I wanted to reorder them. Okay, this is not a skin tone. Not for me, at least. And now we're pinking again. And Donald trade two and last. Oh, we got what? We got no more pinks. I forgot about this. Now it goes to pinks, purples, blues, and greens again. And browns and grays because reasons. I just don't get it. Castle art. Sweetie, honey, pumpkin pie. I think your pencils are nice. I like them. They feel great. They look good. They smell funny. Uh, but whoever decided to like put them in this color order, I don't know what you were smoking. Uh, but honey, put down the pipe. And let's go over this again, okay? Ooh, look at that. That, that wood. See that? Kind of looks like it's burnt. Interesting. I hope I don't have issues sharpening this. I have heard good things about um, Castle Arts uh, customer service. Oh, this one's really, really dusty. That was a whole lot. Did you see that? That's a pretty color, though. Like, this is a brilliant red. Like, why is it... Oh, why isn't it with the reds? I just don't get it. Now we're back into some purples. Maybe I can get some more blue-purples. I would really like to know the reasoning. If I can... If they can tell me a good reason that makes logical sense to me or if anybody can for that matter I will go with it and I'll be like alright cool I get it ooh blue purples um I'll go with it that's fine but as of right now this is this is not how my brain works when it comes to colors um so I don't know I don't know Another blue purple. This is where they're all hiding. So I am now. I thought there wasn't that many blues or greens or purples or pinks. Oh, look at this. Look at this little lavender guy. He's so cute. Uh, I have been proven wrong because. Stop. Uh, my computer wanted to go to sleep. I've been proven wrong because holy moly they were all hiding on the third la layer which I don't know that I actually like looked at because I'm a silly person. Now I could keep these all in their case but I'm really not good at that. Ooh, look at this color. I love this color. Yeah, I'm not really good at keeping the tins. I'm not a not a tin person. Oh, this is pretty too. Maybe I'll I'll use these to do the background on my grape page. Cuz I really wanted to do like a yellow pink blue not quite sunset maybe sunrise um because it's got a rooster why are these three colors almost the same why are these two colors this is 100 did i get them out of order oh look at me i did 
pulled 100 again. My bad. All right, so that was 100. This is this is 101. There we go. Another nice blue green. See this is what happens. I'm not paying attention. Oh, look at that. I like this, like a thalo green. Like my olive greens, I like thalo greens. Turquoise. Any of those bluey greens too are really nice. Or greeny blues or however you want to do it. Ooh, I look forward to this color. It has like a gray blue. Oh wow. That's so dark. Look at that. That's a pretty color. I like that color. I have ideas for that color. I have to say, I'm actually really digging the colors. Um, this bottom tray is just an entire tray full of colors I love. That was one of... Six. This is 107. Yeah, this whole bottom tray is just full of colors I love. And I just have all these ideas for them. I wish to do the things with the colors. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm so pleased. I like minty greens too. Do I have my mint green? I have a, it's called Disc of the Heavens. Yeah, if you ever, this is an Australian uh, indie nail polish company, pretty serious. Uh, they have some gorgeous colors. And this has like a little shine to it, you see it there? Look at shiny, but it's like a mint green, I love it. That's actually, like mint green is like my color for the month. I have to show you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mint green is my color for the month. So like my April and then like all of my it's mint green and I love everything about it. I love everything. This, this, this baby. 243 Tombow my favorite color sorry fangirling for a minute 110 we're almost there Ooh, more olivey greens gosh i'm pretty stoked i actually bought oh i don't like this color well it has its uses i actually bought the amazon basics Pencils, and can I just say, ew? Um, yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. Just an ew. Oh, I like that color. These are way more pleasing. The Amazon Basics are pretty much Crayolas, which are fine. Um, not my cuppa. And there's no blending with them at all. There's some more browns. I like that brown. It's like a nougat. If you don't notice, all of my color, <laughs> my colors come from uh, Polychromos. It's my base color. <laughs> color guide some more grays which why they're not with the other grays I don't know and then number 120 look at that all right I'm gonna zoom out here all right look at these are those not gorgeous look at those colors Are they not pretty? I think they're so pretty. Okay, sorry. That was uh, 
no seconds to you, but that was probably about 15 minutes for me. Um, so we have our swatches. I'm going to set these off to the side. Uh, while I was away, I went and put them all in the pretty case. Uh, I had to take out, I had to take out the Ergo Softs, but that's okay. Look at the, just, just look at it. This is the third layer that I loved. Just pet them. The smell has gone away, FYI, if anybody was worried. Um, let's see, let's pull out a yellow and a blue. So let's pull out, pull out number five. You can see here I was trying to number, but the pen I had wasn't really working very well. I needed to get with April Sarah because I saw where she had wrote down all the numbers, and I thought that was genius. Um, so I need to find out what she used. Let's see, and then just a nice, maybe 49. Let's not go too crazy. Number five and number 49. We're going to try to make a green. And this is Nina cardstock. I think it's 68 weight. No, it's more than 68 pounds. Maybe it's 100 pounds. I don't know. Nina cardstock. I'm going to sharpen these two. Um, I have my M&R sharpener. They are uh, wax based and so... Um, and while the, the lead is fairly hard in it, I don't know that it's hard enough that I want to put it through my hand crank sharpener. So. Yellow and blue make green, right? Right? That's how this works. Sorry. My desk is messy. I need to clean my desk. Okay. So, we have our nice yellow. We're going to do a nice light layer. Can you even see that? Let's zoom in. Alright. Nice light layer. I'm just going to bring it over. I'm going to take our blue. You see I'm choked back. I want light layers. I'm going to color the blue into the yellow. Now I'm going to come back with the yellow into the blue. Not the best green. I probably didn't pick the right colors for it, but... I just want you to notice that the color is different. Now I'm just going to concentrate right in here and just try to get a nice blend. see those colors are different yes yellow green blue yes that's good I like that let's see I'm gonna take this blue I'm gonna go hard with it it's dusty you see that see the dust on there it's dusty so hard blue hard yellow I've now made green. Excellent. I like it. Let me hold on. I've got some Gamsol here. I'm going to see how Gamsol works. on this. Oh, it works nice. 
You see it spreading around there? Oh, look at that! Wow. That reacts pretty well. You see that? Interesting. Pulled it green. I like that. Okay. What else can I test? Let's actually pull a book. What book do we want? I want one with a nice, uh, nice paper and really the only book I have that I will ever I will always color in and if my pencils don't work in this book I get sad so let's see that is sprayed let's find let's find something that doesn't have sprayed that with the uh, workable fixative. This does not. So let's do a little butterfly over here. Little butterfly. Let's see. Let's look at our colors here. I want a nice orange butterfly. So let's go 17. But let's also pull in 13 for a little shading. And I'm also going to pull in 9 for the lightest color. So there we go. Let's see what we do here. Let me sharpen. So I have number 17. Nice bright orange. I have number... 13, which is a, a dark reddish orange for some shading. Then I have number 7, 9, sorry, 9, which is kind of like a, a golden yellow. It's got an orange tint to it, maybe more like a gamboge. So, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. So I'm gonna go in like I do with my normal coloring and go lightest first. Not pressing hard. Just gonna get a nice little light layer of color on here like I would with any of my colorings. Medium. This is just like how I work the grapes. These are going on nicely on this paper. I like it. I'm going to go with the darker color. I don't feel like I've hit too many layers yet, which is nice. Going back over with the medium color. Back over with the light color. I actually want to pull that creamy yellow, number one. There's no ivory in this set. There is a cream. And yes, I am the person who twists the pencil, not the sharpener. Sue me. Nice cream right at the top there. I'm going to go back. I don't feel I got it dark enough down here. Now I think I'm hitting enough layers. I'm actually feeling a bit of wax slip and slide. They build up much for much quicker than, uh, say, your prismas do. But it's not to say that their color is bad. You just have to be more careful. I think I, I went too hard. I tend to do that in the very bottom, even with the lightest layer. I, 
I press too hard. But there you go. I think that's a nice, that looks nice. Looks nice and blended. I don't see any like harsh lines between the colors. I like that. Now I'm actually gonna take these same colors and get, let's get our Selena Fennec Minis coloring book. And let's just do the same colors on something. If I can find something. Here we go. Let's just do it on. It says Dragonfly Blue, Fay Blue, but guess what? She's going to be orange. So this is actually showing where it's dark to light. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to do the, the lightest color down here. I'm just going to follow the grayscale. I'm going to take that medium gamboge type color, pull it down into that cream. And then the darker color here. Pull that up. I really don't like coloring on this paper. <laughs> uh, even with these pencils, it really is not a pleasant experience. But I have to say, I am able to put down a lot of color. That's a thing I wanted to do. Use these pencils in here. I could. They work. I think I need that transition gamboge a little bit more. I feel like I'm not transitioning very well between the orange and the cream. There we go. That's a little better. All right, so, you know, they work out really well. Um, wow, there's not a whole lot of white showing. I didn't press very hard. I didn't go in and go all crazy. Um, they work on this too. Excellent. Yay. I'm so happy. So there you go, guys. There is my uh, review on the Castle Art pencils. I like them. Are they uh, professional grade, like say polychromos? No, but they are good to work with. Uh, they're going to be I, I hate to rank stuff because really it's all personal preference. These would be around my Prisma area for my personal preference. Um, some people Prisma is the bomb and you can't replace them. Uh, and, and, and I agree, but really I think these are very good 
for the price point. They are excellent for the price point. I have to say that. They are excellent for the price point. You get a lot of a lot of colors, a lot of beautiful colors. Uh, some colors that um, I don't really find in a whole lot of sets. Uh, these bluey purples are my jam and finding those in other sets can be difficult. Um, the greens are nice, the blues are nice, the reds are nice. I have no complaints of any of the colors. Um, I have one or two that kind of look similar, but I think I can get away with that. Um, hopefully I can use this to supplement some of my colors and use it in some of my coloring. And I will see you uh, the next time, next video. Thanks guys. Have a good day. Bye.